Hey, welcome. I've just finished another great trading session with binary options on Quartex. If you want to find out the result I got using just a couple of dollars, watch this video till the end. You'll find out everything I used, all the indicators and oscillators and strategy. We're starting right now. I'm Oliver. Let's go. Right, guys, I'm starting with a couple of dollars and we'll see where we can get with that small amount. So let's go. And let's start, guys. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's go with the put option here. I am looking at the maximums, and I think we are going to go into the pullback at least. But also, we see that the, it might be, um, you know, the t kind of the top, and it, it's basically bouncing off it like a ceiling and um, as long as we are profiting even if it's a pullback is good for us and on this time frame wow 30 seconds is really fast and um, on this time frame as I said pullbacks is our friend yeah let's move on 30 seconds and two dollars next one is gonna be three dollars let's change the currency guys don't forget to subscribe like and comment helps the channel so i've told and i'm sure you know that already uh, don't forget about it um boom, 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 three dollars uh, let's go for the stock as a mcdonald's and we'll we'll go uh, we'll go and trade on this just just kind of entered into a flat it's still the price is still dropping so maybe we'll just go through go through it maybe with the uh, with the, with the trend basically yeah three dollars 30 seconds it is um, there was if you look at it like in inside this flat then there was a pullback which was going up so now it will continue to go back down this is pretty uh, dynamic because of this um, time frame 30 seconds only so I think it's about to finish it's very fast so there we go there we go the next profit and we'll move on for the next currency six dollars we have uh, for to, to spare to towards the next one as we want to create a snowball effect five six move on to the next currency right um, what do we have here we're gonna go ahead with the trend basically again this is a pullback we're entering in the at the bottom of the pullback which is really really good place to enter with with this small time frame as we are likely to go back up at this point right the profit from this not a huge yet but we'll keep pushing and create some nice effect um, ex of exponential growth let's go with the 11 dollars next 11 and the next currency this one here all right this again i think we're still going into this pullback a bit more so 30 seconds should be good for us to go back down if we if we look at the pattern if we look at the rhythm i think it's still going to lower a bit more before it goes back up I think it will go back up. Here it is. Really dynamic. I actually like it on these small um, amounts. It's because it's faster than one minute and a bit more dynamic. Right, let's go ahead and place the next one. It's $21 and we are, we are ready for the next one. Mm. By the way, guys, if you want to find out more about trading, learn trading, uh, indicators, oscillators, signals, if you're looking for those, 
I'll leave a link to a Telegram group where you can join and you have all that. So check that out in the description of this video. Let's move on. This is looks like um, it looks like uh, it could be growing at this point, but there is a resistance to meet. So I think it will go into the pullback and then go back up growing. Let's see if that's let's see if that's correct or not. There it is, guys. Um, $39 towards the next option. I'm going to create that snowball effect. As you can see, it's going back up. It didn't even go into the pullback much. It went down, but then it went back up. So, yeah, that our next step is going to be is going to be on this currency. This looks like a nice upper trend. And I'm going to go with it. I think everything MACD is showing us the price is going up. And I think that's, um, yeah, everything's pointing up. Let's go with it. Uh, actually, my, I may um, change the time frame to one minute now. Hopefully we don't catch a pullback accidentally with this time frame. It's possible because look at the line, um, this percentage probability on the left. It's crazy. Um, and we're lucky enough it didn't happen. But look, it, it, this is happening exactly now. So maybe actually we were correct with 30 seconds. Maybe one minute would be worse at this point. But yeah, I think I'm considering to change at that at this point right uh, we have 75 bucks to place towards the next option and let's place that in and continue 75 right this is looking like it's falling at the moment mm -hmm. Right, so there is, um, globally there is an upper trend, it's not a, it's not a, it's not so strong anymore, but it's still going on, there was a resistance there that's trying to break now, but this would be a pullback, and yeah, exactly, we're, we're starting to grow back up, it might not anymore break this resistance, it's entering into kind of a flat, fading kind of fading out uh, market and it will fall in the end but at you know meantime we are making profit 140 bucks towards our next option is we're going to put that almost doubling as you can see 87 percent 91 percent really really good payouts right let's go with the mcdonald one How's that doing? How's the fast food chain doing? See that. Mm, uh, I think I'd go with a call option here. This looks like a pullback and we're gonna start to grow back again. MACD is looking up. So let's go, yeah, with the call option. And one hundred and forty dollars. Let's wait for the result and continue. There we go. There we go, guys. Two hundred fifty-four fifty-five is what we're gonna place towards the next option. Awesome, awesome results already. As you can see, we are making an exponential growth by using the entire profits. I'm sure you're familiar with this term, the combined percentage. The biggest, biggest uh, whales, let's say, of investing world, investors, biggest investors use this um, compound percent in their trading. I'm not talking about binary options, of course, um, but this, it's just the term that applies when when you reinvest. Actually, I just made this 
um, put option here because we're at the maximums and it's entered into a flat. Let's just place that. I'm pretty sure I am going to be correct here. This flat looks like it, it's losing power. As I was saying, the reinvesting what you earn. So for example, you earn dividends, you reinvest those into more more stock, obviously better to be profitable, <laughs> better to be good stock growing funds. Um, and basically it creates this exponential growth. So you get in the end of the in the end of the day, you get invested quite a bit of money and the dividends are quite big. The payment, the percentage uh, that they pay from the the amount you invested is gonna be quite big. Right, so we are ready to invest. Let's let's have this one. It looks like it's started growing, but hmm. Let's go with the call option here. Let's go with the call option. Um because it has some support there it might still go back up but yeah let's 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 see oh that was close that was close I must say because in a, in a normal situation although we have a pin bar there look it should be good moving up um, I think the trend is affecting it as well. MACD is looking down. We're gonna keep, this time we're gonna go with a trend, with the trend uh, for 485. We just got really, really, uh, nah, we go. We go with it. So basically we've kind of went for the, that's tricky. Oh, that's really, really tricky. Think we're gonna lose it this this is pretty volatile i mean maybe i should change the timing oh it worked out oh my god it worked out crazy absolutely crazy so it's because it's so volatile it's really hard to say where it's going but generally like globally there is a a downtrend of course well like that globally it just started but what happens is on small time frames, even if it's a minute, sometimes you can only tell when it's gonna when it's gonna go up or down. And it just does what it wants sometimes because it's it's really small time frame. On the longer time frames, you will not have that volatile behavior. But on a small time frame, um, it's more dynamic. On the other hand, it's, it's faster. It's so less boring. Right, so 900 guys I have placed uh, towards this call option and we are seeing growth. We are seeing that there was a pullback and we enter at the bottom of the pullback, hopefully to see the growth. Zigzag and MMACD are both showing the growth. So this is where we're heading. Let's wait for the result and continue. Right, we're entered into the four figures, guys. This is, as you can see, how that exponential growth is working. It is absolutely crazy. Let's move on, let's push this snowball a little bit more and just see the, the true beauty of it. Right, it is 1000, let's do that. We could go with 800 each and make a multiple option, but just in case we need to retake, I'll leave those 700 there. Let's go with the put option here. It looks like it's going down. Um, MACD is also showing us that it's crossing down the, uh, the slower line and zigzag had just came around to also draw us this 
um, indication that the price is going down. So let's let's hope it doesn't just start jumping around. Oh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Nice. Right, guys, we have 2,000 now to place to, to 600. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna place the two, but we're gonna keep the 600 in case. What if, what if, we're gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna lose all. Let's go with the next option to, to this one. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's going up at this point. It's bouncing off some supports and collecting some some strength to go up. So let's see if that works out. There's also resistance there, kind of in a channel, but looks like it's it's going to grow. Again, 30 seconds. It's so volatile. Look at it. It's oh. We're so close to just really not getting anywhere. It is just absolutely crazy. Oh my God, we, we did guys, we did just get it. We're gonna stop here. This was an amazing run, very volatile, very dynamic. I hope you enjoyed this, because I did. I'll see you all next time. All the best, good luck.